up on your bankruptcy? Now maybe you didn't see this in the news. Maybe you're not up on time. She, they, they, Alex oh, Holder, I am. I'm up on Alex your bankruptcy, Holder, too, Alex sir. Holder, <laughs> Welcome to Street Politics. My name is Reese Waters. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the page. Now, black people have a saying, damn, we can't have nothing. It really speaks to how so many of our spaces are eventually infiltrated and ultimately diluted by the presence of interlopers. Fortunately, that didn't happen with the DNC convention, but they tried it. MAGA, you really thought you were gonna come to Chicago and not get dragged off the field like the Bears every year? That's there was Charlie Kirk of Turning Point USA, perhaps best known for denouncing the civil rights movement. And the Civil Rights Act, though, let's be clear, created a beast, and that beast has now turned into an anti-white weapon. Yeah, and, that, and, that's, and that's the reality. And so we just need to fundamentally relook at a lot of our civil rights legal regime. And without that, even though I don't think it's sort of the magic bullet, but I think without that, there's limits to the amount of progress we're going to make. Let's talk about discourse and dialogue. Th this topic would have been even more forbidden four or five years ago, but it's yeah. now becoming in more and more mainstream circles. As well as his thoughtful reflections on the airline industry. And that's why I think this United story and the DEI story yes. hits so hard because we've all been in the back of a plane when the turbulence hits or when you're flying through a storm and you're like, I'm so glad I saw the guy with the right stuff and the square jaw get into the cockpit before we took off. And I feel better now thinking about that. No, I mean, like, that. you want to go thought crime? Like, I'm sorry, if I see a black pilot, I'm going to be like, boy, I hope he's qualified. And if you're wondering, this whole airline debate happened because a door flew off of a plane. Yeah, no black pilot. No, no, no. A door flew off of a plane, and they used that to start a national far-right debate about the qualifications of black pilots going so far as to try and denounce HBCU programs and to tie every black pilot to said HBCU SAT averages. Yes, it was that sad. Now, first where you got me messed up is correlating SAT scores and IQ. And boy, do I have a surprise for you. You know who I want you to tell that, that SAT scores are or tightly correlated with IQ, tell the Princeton Review. Just go ahead and ask the Princeton Review how they feel about that. I want you to tell Kaplan that they are no longer needed. SAT scores are correlated with IQ and therefore are set and fixed. I want you to tell the College Board that I want all my Saturdays back between my sophomore and junior year of high school. You wasted my time because it was simply a measure of my IQ. Then I want you to call the SAT people and tell them that that 240 point gap between the first time I took the SATs and the second time I took the SATs was a lie. One of those was a lie. I don't know which one of those was a lie. Hopefully, hopefully the first one was a lie. And yeah, I'm talking to you, Elon Musk. Tesla, where Musk serves as CEO, is currently facing a lawsuit from the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission over allegations of racial abuse against black employees, including racial slurs and the discovery of nooses in the workplace. Furthermore, Tesla has been accused of not addressing complaints of racial abuse and even retaliating against employees who spoke out. So this is, this is all starting to make a little bit of sense now, because if you get rid of uh, the diversity, then you don't have any complaints from the Equal Opportunity Commission. So if you can't stamp out the racism, stamp out the race. Well, naturally, he thought he would feel at home at the DNC. Hello, everybody. I am here at the DNC. And they were nice enough to let me in. I got to give them credit for that. And uh, we're here to learn. Well, I don't really have much to learn here, but I already gotten heckled once. And we're here at the Belly of Beast in Chicago. It went poorly. Because we have a Republican governor and a Republican secretary of state in the state of Georgia. What's your name? 
He said Parker. My name's Parker. We have yeah. a Republican governor and Republican secretary I, of state I, in Georgia that approved our elections, and Donald Trump said that wasn't constitutional. Right, relax. Donald Trump tried to undermine our dude, constitution. You're, you're I just walked in. I'm here to just learn. I'm hey, here to you're just you're an anti-patriotic, anti-constitutional person crashing our party so because you, you tried question. to stop our democracy. Question. I got one question. Donald Trump called the Can secretary of state question. of Georgia and told him to find him right. some votes. What is a woman? Oh my God, that is so fucking weird, y'all. Maybe you should meet one. Bro, did you just get yeeted by the the not like us kid? The one who was dancing in the background? I'm pretty sure that just happened. Well, you know what? That's what the Democratic Party is. We're a big tent and we're here to let people in and lift people up. I got involved in Democratic politics because I lost my dad as a little kid. I saw the impact that Democratic politics can have for people. I was on Social Security. I, his labor union, you know, helped uh, save my family from hundreds of thousands of dollars in medical debt. You know, Brian Kemp refuses to expand Medicaid in Georgia. And when he changed Medi Medicaid standards, I lost my health care. So this is very real for me. And uh, everybody in that room, everybody in this movement knows that we're in it together. And we're in it together to win because yeah. there's so much at stake, you know, um, no matter what music you like or what dance moves, you know, we all want our kids to have a better future. This not going to look good for the channel, Charlie. I'm just saying this is not going to look good, especially after what happened to your water boy, Jack Posobiec, uh, a.k.a. one of the other guys in that airline clip. You are obviously trying to get some undercover today. You are clearly trying to She's not wearing a mask. I thought you don't wear masks. You came up to me. Take your mask off. You came up to me. You literally came up to me. Right, because you're Jack the Sobe. Yeah. You're trying to trick people into thinking that you're not. Go ask anyone I've talked to if I lied about who I was. Do they know who you are? Do they know about your comment ping pong? Like you almost cried like a bitch at comment ping pong? Go stand. I understand had a lot of abortions it's gone to your head because you're and you of course are you in fourth are grade are you in fourth grade <laughs> what is this this is a middle school bully right here get some better insults here sure are you speaking i know Right now, and I can't find one. Were you able this to is get weird. This is weird. MAGA is weird. How many abortions have you had? How many abortions have you had? How many abortions have you had today? Now, when you first messed up was your first question when you asked how many abortions have you had? Because if you wanted to try and make fun of her or try and lampoon her, you telegraphed your play. And that's what gave her the time to spin the block and peel your cap. How many abortions have you had? How many abortions have you had? How many abortions have you had today? DNC. I'm getting paid by George Soros to have an abortion on the stage with no drugs. Which way are you going? Which way are you going? What do you mean, which way? Which type of abortion? What kind of abortions are there, Jack? There's, there's pills, there's tools, there's a number of ways. So it's going to be on stage. So a normal person would think that they would use tools, right? And vacuum it out and do all of that. Like if I took a pill that takes several days and nothing happens, you won't see anything. So you should probably like study how female anatomy works. Bro, this is bad. You, you got to get out of there, Jack. Charlie, put your hands down and deny you were ever there. And whatever you do, don't you stop in the hallway. I have All a right. question. Okay, what's your question? Why did you say that the civil rights bill should be overturned? I didn't say that. I said it was a mistake. Why? That's crazy. Now you gotta figure it out. I wouldn't be here. That's trouble. Who's that? Oh, Noah got him. Noah got him. Hey, he was patrolling those hallways like Mike Singletary in his prime, like Otis from Martin. By the way, Noah was everywhere, and he did some incredible work. Shout out to that brother. I mean... Y'all did see what he did to Mike Lindell, right? Um, Mike Lindell, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah what, what, what's, what's going on here? I'm, I'm trying to figure out, do you think that people weren't gonna recognize you? Huh, did, did you think that people weren't going to recognize you and then you immediately start interfacing with people as Mike Lindell? Like, what are you doing, dog? That'd be like escaping from jail, changing clothes, starting a new life, getting an apartment and a job, 
And as soon as you walk in to get your driver's license, they say, can we have your name? Yes, it is inmate 54321. Would you just listen to what this man is saying? Oh yeah, she's a friend of mine. Oh yeah, I'm sure. That's kind of like when they say on Fox News, I just heard the other day. Bankruptcy? Now maybe you didn't see this in the news. Maybe you're not up on things. She, they, they, Alex oh, told I am. Me. I'm up on Alex your bankruptcy, told, too, Alex told him. <laughs> Yo, this kid's wild. With a ballpoint pen. your source is trust me bro exactly these kids are all right uh, i feel like so your source is trust me bro could really apply to most of right-wing media i want to hear kamala drop that in the debate yeah no we, we don't have to we don't have to wait a whole hour two hours after it ends for the fact check just whatever Trump, whatever come out of Trump's mouth. Oh, so your source is, is trust me, bro? And what kind of people where they're not wanted segment would this be without Byron Donalds? He's a where you're not wanted all-star. But, so, so but hold on, but hold on, but hold on, Wesley. Hold on, hold on, Wesley. My brother, my brother, my brother, my brother, my brother, hold on. Calm down, my, my man. My man, chill. I want to... Can I answer the question? Go ahead. This is important. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Both of y'all are talking. I'm trying to hear both of y'all. I'm trying to hear both of you. You want me to answer or you want to answer? You want to answer my question? Do you want to answer the question? Or you want me to answer the question? But if you... It's not different, brother. It's the truth. Do you want to... Do you want to... Because uh, let's talk, hold on. Do you want to talk about it or do you want to yell about it? So you know he wouldn't miss this. I'm here at the DNC. Is this Mr. Fascist Byron Donalds? In the flesh? What the? <laughs> you can tell, you can tell Byron Donalds has been roasted many times in the past. He knew he was like, don't even, just keep it moving. Just keep walking. Don't break stride. Don't break stride. And put your head down so they don't roast your hairline. I'm here at the DNC. Is this Mr. Fascist Byron Donalds? In the flesh? What the? <laughs> By the way, there was also an appearance from Vivek Ramaswamy. So here's my perspective. I was asked about this when I came to the south side of Chicago a year ago, and my position on this has not changed, is I'm against race-based reparations because I think it will create more division, what not less. What about race-based discrimination that occurred in this country? Yeah, so, I, so I should, I should, let, me, let me just clarify one aspect. Oh. I think there was a time and place for it in the Reconstruction era. But today, when we actually bring back racial reparations, 
it actually causes greater discrimination, not more. I think we're seeing a wave arise in anti-black and I think other forms of racism in the country. But part of the reason I think we're seeing it is there's no better way to foster racial animus than to take something away from someone based on their skin color. So no Have black, we done black that in this people country? justice because it will make other people upset. Well, because it's going to create more division and be self-defeating. I think it's actually going to set black Americans back because it will cause... I mean, I actually, but black Americans continue like, you, to live in that yeah. zone. Oh, I'm going to have to do a whole nother video about that. Racist of the week coming soon. But the real MVP was Noah. So I want to close with him. And just another reminder, this brother is 12. I'm dumbfounded of how a grown man, well, I don't know if he's a grown man, but a grown man like Mike Lindell uh, approaching in that way. Um, I had a, a simple question of why he's questioning a completely legitimate election. He had no proof. He said there was an elected official that found voter fraud, and I said, okay, what's your name? He said the first name, but refused to give me a last name, when the last name of a public official, an uh, uh, elected official at that, should be out there if they want to get reelected even. So I'm confused as to why right. he had such a hard time figuring that out. Right. Look, let's put that to one side. You've become a bit of an online star, certainly for a 12-year-old. What made you get involved in all this uh, for the Democrats? Yeah, the Democratic Party has the best policy platform we have seen. It's the oldest party also. Um, and I'll also just say that the policy platform, not only we get a two-in-one deal this election, we get to defeat Donald Trump, and we get a good policymaker in the White House, so that's why I'm in it. Right, so how important do you think, I and mean, we've just seen a report on um, social media influences there and what's happening. How important do you think social media will be in this election? Yeah, I think it'll be very important. Let's start off with... Uh, uh, kids and 20-year-olds and 30-year-olds don't typically read uh, old school news. They go to TikTok for their information. They go to Twitter for their information. They're kind of tired of old school media. No offense. <laughs> but um, I think nice. it'll be highly critical to not only combat misinformation, but to provide new information as well. Right. Who's winning, in your view, the battle on the... Um for you pages on TikTok, for Yeah, instance. the FYP, Kamala Harris... Aren't you take... surprised I knew about that? I, I, I am. I mean, I mean that's, that's... hey, um, I, I'm, I, I say Kamala Harris is winning the FYP battle uh, by far. We've seen so many great influencers, uh, musical artists, and actors endorse Kamala, and Trump has Kid Rock. So, mm. it, who and Hulk Hogan. So, who really cares about those two when you have stars that young people actually care about up front supporting Kamala, yeah. full throat it. Yeah, so when we've got this big speech tonight, for right, instance, right, right? right? Kamala Harris here tonight. Right. Do you think that's less important now and it's more important what you guys are doing on TikTok and on other social media platforms? Is I... the big speech losing its, its impact, do you think? Yeah, no, I think it's funny enough the big speech will be displayed on social media. So we need the big speech to use kind of like as a template um, to show that social media is important. And this speech, uh, the big yeah. speech tonight will help display that. But it's moments you're after. I mean, it's, it's, it's tiny moments from a much broader right. speech, isn't right. it? So it's possible so then, that people example, are not getting the full yeah, context. Yeah, so if Kamala uses a word for example, if Kamala says like a word that Gen Z uses frequently, yeah. then that'll get on your For You page and the young people will eat it up. Yeah. I am eating it up, sir. These kids are all right. You know what? Between the performance we saw on stage and the performances we saw in the hallway, the future is bright. Sincere thanks to everybody who's reached out to me and submitted suggestions for videos. Keep them coming. Uh, I take submissions for ideas for a video, suggestions for races of the week. If you have something that just troubles you or you just want to send me a note because I love getting those notes, go ahead and shoot me an email at Reese at ReeseWaters.com. I also have a newsletter that I send out periodically, so you'll be receiving that as well. You can also sign up on my website, ReeseWaters.com.